Hello LEGO fans, welcome to this my retro review of Star Wars set 7140, the X-Wing Fighter. Some history about this set. The set was released in 1999, it comes with 266 pieces, four minifigures and it retailed for $30 um, at the time. This was the first set to be released in the Star Wars line. Like I said, it was originally released in 1999, and then it saw a re-release in 2002. And when it was re-released, it was set 7142, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll be recorrected, but I'm pretty sure it was set 7142 on the re-release. Um, so, review of this set. Like I said, this is the first Star Wars um, Lego Star Wars set to be made, um, 1999. So, like I said, it's a retro set. So you can see I've got the box, the actual box of the set, which we can see there. And on the rear of the box, you can see. We'll call it some of the features as such, but you can actually make different um, models um, out of some of the parts on this set, which it explains to you there. So you can see there, if you use um, that piece there, you can make that, and from those pieces you can make that. Um, but basically you can make different sets from the main set itself. It's a bit tatty obviously, because it's uh, from 1999, so what's that, that's now 14 years old, um, this particular set. box isn't in that bad a condition. I'm just trying to give you a good view of the box itself. So, see how these used to be packaged as well. Inside the box is pretty much another box. You can see there, so you can see the instructions. So, we get that. And that, incidentally, is the original wheel piece that all the tools and the tool accessories came on, which you'll see in a second on the main set. So, there's the instruction manual for the set itself. So, you can see there the X-Wing Starfighter on the front of it. You have this little train, um, like a little um, repair cart. It's got loads of tools on the back of it. I'll show you that in more detail in a second. Again, you can see the rear of the manual there, which is actually is the same as what is on the rear of the box. Look inside. Again, it shows you some of the different things that you could make with the actual set itself. So you actually have a, a lightsaber as well that you can make. Obviously, the instructions only show you how to make um, the main set itself. Uh, a cartoon. A cartoon there. And again, just some of the different things that can be made from the set and the cartoon. And again, cartoon. And this is the build. So we have only 26 pages of build itself. And you can see it there how the instruction manuals differ from today. <coughs> At the front of it, you can see our minifigure build. So, there we go. Like I said, there's the set itself. So first thing we're gonna start, we wanna give you a quick overview of the sets with the minifigures on them first. So we have this little um, train, like a little repair sort of Cart, as you can see there, and on the rear section of this train, you can see the tools. And they do come out of this. Um, also, so if I just show you, so there, for example, we have an, an oil can, and then there are other things on here, 
screwdriver, a spanner, a drill, hammer, and some other pieces in there. Trying to recall. So the back there. I see some pieces in there. Some detail. A hose on the back. It's going to be a, some sort of power. Okay. And the main X Wing itself. First thing to say about this, this is a really solid build actually. Really, really solid. Impressive and considering um, the age of the actual set. And considering it's 1999, it looks really cool. So obviously as it's the X-Wing, you can put the wings there into their flight mode. Into the iconic X. So quite good detail on the rear here. Translucent sort of bright orange. A little um, piece in here. That's a little printed brick down there. Okay, and here as well we have a printed brick there, another printed brick there. A little storage area there. You see that opens and closes. Okay. We have our cockpit area there. Again, down inside there. You can better see it, it's a bit dark, but there's a printed brick um, down in the cockpit area as well. Landing gear, so these obviously you can, you can just take these, take these off if you want to play a bit flying, and this as well here. So I'll just show you that, that will just, just take that off. And that front one, and then obviously that's what it looks like without the actual flight gear on it. Apologies for that, that's me, that's not the set. Just caught it. So, again, looking very cool um, indeed. Okay. Okay, so now on to the mini figs. First off, we have the, I guess this is the mechanic. The one that drives or operates the train, so he's gonna be the actual mechanic that's gonna go in and repair or service the X-Wing Starfighters. See that, front torso printing. Looking cool with his moustache, his stubble. No rear torso printing on his older ones. And cap. Let's take that cap off. And you can see there. Better look at his face and his hair, or his hairline. You'll see only single sided and these are obviously the yellow back in 1999, no flesh coloured, so yellow coloured. Here we go, so that's our mechanic. So next one to show you is R2-D2, so this is our original R2-D2 from, from 1999. You see it's printing on the front, and on the top there, and the rear top. No printing on the rear body. And again, these movable legs. Okay, so that's R2-D2. So next up, is Biggs Dark Light. This is Biggs Dark Light. This is front torso printing, nothing on the rear. Black hands, gloved hands. You see his printing on his helmet. His face, just remove his helmet. That 
basic face. Again with moustache, again no flesh coloured so yellow. Okay, and finally we have Luke Skywalker. So again this is our first ever Lego minifigure for Luke Skywalker from this 1999 first edition set. See there is front torso print and again nothing on the rear. Gloved hands. See his iconic helmet printing. Luke Skywalker original face. Obviously quite basic. Again, single sided, no flesh colours, just your yellow head. So there we go again. Good look at Luke Skywalker. So that's pretty much it. I missed any more features on this, but again, I think it's a really cool set. And you consider this is the first Lego Star Wars set made back in 1999. Um, I think the build of it is fantastic, really solid set. A lot of playability with this set because it is so solid. Um, some great minifigures for mini figures, and obviously, this repair vehicle or servicing vehicle, great addition um, to the set overall. So um, just finally, I think I might have mentioned it, but no stickers on this wherever you can see this sort of printed detail, it, it, it is printed. So every single one of these that you can see here are printed. I mean, in here there's one, two, there's three, which you probably can't see um, inside this cockpit. Um, so probably one of the things that I do prefer from the older sets because obviously nowadays we tend to have a lot more stickers oh sorry there is another feature on this which I missed here how could I miss that so here you have a cover and actually in there did we forget that and, uh, Luke Skywalker is a lightsaber um, which back then Looks like that, so a blue lightsaber for Luke Skywalker with a nice chrome lightsaber hilt. And that just fits in for storage, this front section on the nose of the X-Wing itself. I think that's it guys for all the features on this set. Hopefully I haven't missed anything else out. But yeah, like I was saying, really good set, good playability, um, still even now great for display. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. As always, please um, like, um, provide me with some feedback in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.